Using displacement maps, we can manipulate geometry and layout. And let's go ahead and do that to this um, blue plane right here. This is just flat. It's a flat subdivided plane. And I'm going to go over to P for properties. And let's go over to, I've got the subdivision order set to last. And let's go over to the deform tab. And under displacement map, I'm going to click T for texture editor and let's change the layer type to procedural texture and let's just use the default settings we can go in and change the type of procedurals we can go and change all the values here but let's just use the default uh, for now use texture and as you can see it's displacing the geometry it's not like a bump map it's actually moving the points on the geometry now one thing that we can do is we've got this um, this yellow ball here if I wanted to animate the ball moving along the path, uh, it might take some time. I'd have to set keyframes uh, for to to kind of match the the rolling hills of this plane. Or I can use a motion modifier called textured motion. So I'm going to grab this uh, yellow ball, and I'm going to go to M for motion options, and under Add Modifier, I'm going to choose textured motion double click to get the options. Now offset, that allows me to decide how far off of the texture, off just say off of this surface, I want the uh, to, the ball to be. And I, I don't want it, I want it to kind of match the surface. So I'm going to do uh, zero, which is the default setting. Scale, I can actually multiply the motion. I can make it more intense. Uh, a one, that does nothing. It has no effect over the uh, over the motion. I need to pick an axis. It's kind of like planar mapping. I need to pick an axis in which the um, which the motion is going to be applied and we used Y for um, uh, for this uh, for the the blue plane so we're gonna we're gonna just keep it as Y here and then I just need to pick the texture so I'm gonna go to texture layer type procedural and I want to use the exact same values okay so we're gonna go ahead and, and keep the the same values there Okay, it raises the, the yellow ball up to the surface, but let's go ahead and, and, and I could have just done that, I could have just moved that, but I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Let's go to the top view, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to move here, uh, come over to frame 60, and I'm going to move here, and frame 30 and let's just move it right here so it looks like we've got a your standard little animation here but let's take a look in the perspective view again and now we can see it's moving to the shape of the texture but now I want it on the surface so what I'm gonna do is come over to Y and I'm gonna set that to 0 I'm gonna come over to 30 and set that to 0 and come over to 60 and set that to 0 in the Y and now we can see that the ball is following the surface using the same texture to drive that motion so now it looks like the ball is conforming to the shape of the surface and I didn't have to hand keyframe I had to set three keyframes to at least set a motion path to say well I wanted it to, to kind of curve around here but it uses the same texture information to displace that we're using to displace this geometry well it's displacing the motion path so it allows us to quickly have the object conform to the shape